So let's have a look at this back squat here from Jelle van Horkum, professional BMX rider. Yeah, sorry for the music. So I wanted that. Uh, 170, 180, 185. Okay, so let's look at that in slow mo. So breaking from the knees and from the hip, that is fine. So the descent looks pretty good. But then you can see the weight is fairly heavy. And the weight shifts a little bit forward. That's why he struggles. If he would be able to keep the upper body more upright, it would be easier for him. So let's have a look at that. But again, the higher the, higher the weight, the more you see these kind of technical flaws of leaning forward or something like that. It's just a question of what is acceptable and what not. So, having said that, that's, that here is for me acceptable. Okay, so that position looks pretty good and pretty solid. But now we can see, if we look at the upper body, this one. Now when he comes up, we, can, we will see a little bit more of a forward lean like this. That's too much, it's just to make it visible, so we'll probably see a bit more forward lean like this. So I can see here, so driving up from the hip, and then simultaneously extending hip and knees, and you can see here that's where he gets stuck. The camera position is not ideal, so I I don't assume, but I'm pretty certain that the bar is, yeah, that's not a good example, I'm pretty certain the bar is a little bit in front, if you would look from the side, so like this, rather than this. So that's why you ideally want to have the bar over the midfoot, and I assume it's a little bit in front, that's why you get stuck in this position. And then he's strong enough to correct it and come up. 